Hey everybody, welcome to Board Game Heaven. My name is Raymond and in this video I'll be doing an unboxing of Write the Future by Tobias Hall, published by All or None Games, along with a couple of extras that I got with the game as well. Now before I open up the box and show you the contents, I'd like to ask you to please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, that really helps the channel. And if you'd like to support me financially, there's also a Patreon page in the description below and you can support me for as little as just one euro per month or more and in return you will get early access to all of my videos your name in the credits and access to some patreon exclusive content as well all right let's open up the box see what's inside okay right the future by tobias hall and art by anthony cournoyer Looks really cool, very futuristic, very cyberpunk, with a nice neon dice there. A dice topic roll and write game for those of you who remember Dystopia, also by Tobias Hall and All or None Games. Uh, I have a review of that game on my channel if you'd like to check that out. Also has the same theme with very colorful, bright, uh, transparent dice. And which is also a really fun game in a compact box. Here we have uh, three languages, English, German, French, uh, which kind of explains what the game is about. It is, of course, a, uh, well, kind of like a roll and write. You roll the dice and you write down your actions, your icons. So yeah, let's uh, open up the box and uh, see what's inside. So, Inside the box we find four pre-sharpened pencils with erasers on the back that are ready to go. Those, so that's great for all the players. We have these really nice and bright uh, dice. These aren't transparent though, but they are, uh, um, you know, solid colors. But we have the dark blue, the bright green and yellow, and the uh, pinkish red there. That looks really cool. We have, what's this? Is this a sticker of some kind? I have no idea what that is. <laughs> Something that's in the box. And we have a deck of cards, of course. So let me open that up. All right, so we have neighborhoods. Are all of these neighborhoods? Nope. We have mission cards, which is very reminiscent of uh, Dystopia as well, which also had neighborhoods and missions. Uh, so let me see. Uh, turn these around so this is where you place the dice of course and it has some kind of symbol that'll uh, let you do something I guess uh, which again is very reminiscent of uh, Dystopia so we have six of those five of those <laughs> and then we have these mission cards so this is apparently I guess uh, what you need to try and achieve so uh, for each agent surrounded by resources you get 10 points for example for each intel that's this symbol surrounded by resources you get 15 points for each weapon surrounded by resources money so those are the four uh, icons that are also on the cover of the box for each agent not adjacent to resources so completely without resources same for all the four things of course then we have uh, gangs for each agent in your biggest group three points intel armory and uh, money weapons and money the set you get 10 points for each set for each adjacent pair of these two symbols you get seven points and then of course you have all the combinations for each agent in the wasteland so we'll need to find out what that means and of course again for all the uh, symbols there for each agent in the suburbs uh, in the city as well for each matching pattern of resources so we have this kind of pattern that we're trying to make so we have several of those as well and this is for each matching pattern of resources but the middle one cannot have a resource so you kind of kind of make doubles like this you know if that doesn't count as a resource i'd have to check that out so uh, yeah plenty of uh, different mission cards uh, uh ways to score 
Then we have the rule book. So I have here the English rule book. And uh, the contents are here. There's different modes, draft mode and traditional mode. The setup is here. There's a solo variant. Uh, let's see, the rules are in here. Missions here, there are, they are explained. This is all the cards that we just looked at. And uh, so, yeah, on your card, you have three different zones. That's probably the city and the suburbs and the uh, wasteland. Uh, there is a uh, future proof expansion sold separately. Is that this? Yes, that is this. So I'll show that in a bit as well. And uh, that's it. That's it. Then the booklet starts in uh, French and uh, in German. So really, the rules are simply uh, basically just one page. The setup here and the contents and the rules are here. And then an explanation of all the cards and the expansion. So that's uh, pretty straightforward. That's really nice. Yep, there we go. So then we have this huge, huge pad of uh, leaves here, which of course you're going to use. This is all the player needs with a pencil. You write down your name and uh, this is where you draw your, your icons. So that's pretty interesting. There's a bunch of stuff going on there. So uh, yeah. I'll figure that out. So let's look at the uh, expansion as well, which I have here. So let me open up these cards. So future proof expansion. This is just a cover card, of course. So I'll put that to the side. We have different corporations here. So making the game asymmetrical, uh, I'm assuming. Always score any available row bonus when scoring row bonuses. Uh, scoring the black market, you may swap the scoring of the two resource types. Your agents have the same value progress as the other resources at the black market. So yeah, I mean, I don't know what all of that means just yet, but uh, it'll give you a uh, different way to play the game with asymmetrical kind of skills that you that you have, which is pretty cool. Which is also something. Uh, from uh, the Dystopia game, actually. And these are the English cards. So the rest of the deck is, of course, the French and the German. No, no, these are just French. There's no German. Oh, on the back. Yeah, these are German and French uh, double-sided. So what are these on the other side? Just factions, right. Okay, so the English cards have factions on the back and the German and the French cards are double-sided for both languages. And then we have these, which is also pretty cool. More missions, just like the ones we saw in the core game. Just a bit more complex and more points to be had. Tech heist, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so more missions to choose from. That's pretty awesome. And then finally, I also got this nice little bag here, right the future, nice kind of velvety bag, which contains stamps. So we have uh, two stamps in each player color. Let me just get rid of that, of the plastic there, or each resource color, or yeah. So we have these agents here, and of course this is a little stamp there so you'll need some ink i guess <laughs> i don't know if these are already let's just see yep yeah, these are actually kind of foamy with a bit of uh, ink already in them so that's interesting that's an interesting kind of stamp so make sure you close these well <laughs> you need to really push them closed but that's pretty cool. So we have those and we have the yellow ones for the money. We have the purple ones for the weapons. And we have the green ones for the tech, I believe. So we have those as well, which, uh, you know, you can use to just uh, 
boom stamp on your card and that's pretty well you know what i'm just gonna try one out we have this one open anyway so i'm just gonna see how that works just press that on there and there you go and that's pretty cool <laughs> it just instantly works all right just works all right sweet so we have those ah there we go i think you can rotate them shut all right so if you you know want to stamp them instead of just drawing all of these different shapes uh there's this which you can get as a separate add-on that's everything that's in the box and the expansions and if you want to fit everything together with the expansions back into the box this is a very tight box you just put the pads on the bottom because that's the only way they're gonna fit and just put the pencils and the dice and the cards and the expansion cards in their Ziploc bags. Yeah, I got a couple of extra Ziploc bags for the cards on top of that and put all the stamps in like this. So put the uh, thicker part, the bottom part up top and just let it drop. It'll kind of diagonally lean on this, but that will fit. I put the baggie in here. I just folded it up, it's just very thin and this goes on top and that will actually fit uh, tobias hall really likes his compact boxes but as you can see entirely flush even where the the stamps are entirely flush so that works all right so that was my unboxing of right the future by all or none games i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and check out my patreon page by clicking the link below or add the icon at the end of this video thanks for watching and i'll see you next time on board game heaven <laughs>